I don't understand. Is it my internet? Oh, there we go. Okay. Downloaded that. Let's go do this. Ryan reacts real quick. Real quick. Oh, this is a long one. All right. So this is a birthday surprise from RHPC. Um, I don't remember what year this was, but... What is this? Tomorrow is Ryan We're Heger's in this birthday. mode. We got the great idea of doing a good old-fashioned Ryan Heger production company performance. Yeah, we did a lot of these um, surprise Musical birthday performances for people. Oh, we are called the local lovers, brother. <laughs> Local so we're mainly a reggae band. Yeah, we're yeah, reggae. reggae. This so is when less than 24 hours Will just bought a bass. Song that's uh, Sean already knows how to play an instrument. I think happened. Greg <laughs> bought, what is it, a guitar? Oh, last minute. Oh, well. We always do it, though, so. Yeah. <laughs> they literally <laughs> just did this because they wanted to play their play instruments party. and learn Basically, a song. We just bring a bunch of computers, a bunch of pizza, yeah, we just play a video game until you can't see straight. We got the local lava's performance, Woo! land party, food, food for days. He doesn't know anything about this. This is all a surprise. We're going to mask it by saying we're going to do some pickup shots. Yeah. But well, we need to film this real quick because yeah. we forgot it. Little does he know. Yeah. All right. Enough talk. I think we need a freaking. Yeah, let's back get back. to work then. Let's do this. Welcome to the local lava. It's coming out. 15 or 16. Check, check. <laughs> oh yeah, they had Dimitri too. That's the same guy I was telling you guys about. Um, and then also the what instrument? That's the thing that Lily was playing. What was that called? Today we just finished band practice. What is that and called? Thoughts and concerns because tomorrow is a big day. Yeah. Melodica. I have a lot of Melodica? concerns actually. First off, we don't have David Choi. He was supposed to sing the song that we're practicing for. We have Dimitri instead. <laughs> this, I don't even this think performance. Ryan knows who Dimitri is, honestly. <laughs> Dude, he's so funny. So that's gonna be weird. Man, the guys are just like not <laughs> nailing the just the essence of the song. Like they're not getting the, the whole idea of what we wanted to be in the beginning. Um, <laughs> Chip and Dale's. I think my part down pretty good. I mean, as Dana's long as actually we're fun, super right? gifted right? musically. She can sing. Yeah, she can play hours. the uh, piano. What do you expect? She actually knows. <laughs> Man, did you see that game though? I, I think out of everyone the there, shit. probably Dana. So I'm not even gonna be there. And Dimitri. And Josh. So no one else plays like, instruments. I'm there with them. I think it's gonna be great. I feel good. I mean, I woke up early and I practiced all day. Yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna do really bad. I'm not gonna lie. I think we're gonna nail it. Sorry, Ryan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. Sorry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. We're gonna trick you. All right, so today is the day that we're gonna perform for Ryan. This is a land party material. I'm stressed, dude, but you get my lyrics down. Derek will distract them while that's going down. <laughs> Derek's I gotta come oh god, this is so and funny. Derek's go distraction techniques. Well. An entire band, an entire land party, mm -hmm. without making any noise or having Ryan find out. Ready, boys? I'm Ready. scared. No. Ten minutes before we're supposed to be there, we gotta go pick up the rest of the food. Yep. Equipment's packed. Mm -hmm. We got practice. Instruments. Oh, we got practice. No, screw it. I don't know if we got time. Let's yeah, go. I don't know if we got time. No practice. <laughs> Ready, let's do this. Oh, let's do it. All right, so we're at Ryan's right now. You texted, uh... Well, I'm not happy birthday, but it would be pretty random if... I mean, it's not that random, but... Yeah. You know. Oh, what a mess in that room. <laughs> David Choi's here. Why is it so messy? Can you get BTS? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it might be good for something. Maybe not. You want me to shoot something? I thought they didn't they say David wasn't there? Coming out good. I do remember this day when David showed up, and it was very. Oh right, wait. Let's do one where you're just standing, and then kind of like. Uh, uh, I might like have a story. Or something. Okay, okay yeah. you know what? I might. Real, real I might. Subtle. I might Doesn't pause have to be, like, crazy or anything. I think this Actually. is the okay. So this is why David was late. This is this is such a good story. Um, so David, as you guys know, lives in LA. I'm in Vegas. It's about. Uh, f what four hour four and a half hour drive, David? So David drove 
right? And I, I knew David was coming. I didn't know why. Obviously, it was a surprise. He was coming, and he made it all the way. If you ever did that drive, there's this little random town in the middle of Vegas, about two hours, two and a half hours in, literally in the middle, called Barstow. David was at this Barstow uh, gas station, and he <laughs> he looks in his wallet, and he has he has no gas, and he has no money. He didn't bring his okay. He didn't look in his wallet. He forgot his wallet, and he realized he has no money. He had uh, no uh, driver's license. He had nothing. He forgot his wallet. So and no gas. So he literally had to beg, and he said he went to people. And he's never been more surprised on how people treated him <laughs> because like all the people with the nicest cars, you know, he didn't, he, David doesn't look like a, he's not like a well-dressed person, but he's also not like, uh, like he doesn't look bad. You know, he doesn't look like he's a homeless dude, but he said all the people with like the nicest cars gave him no money. And this, the, the only car that pulled up was probably like the most beat up janky car. Uh, that guy gave him like 20 bucks for gas. No, uh, no questions. Just gave him 20 bucks. The, like the nicest dude. And then he said the person working at the gas station gave him, matched it and gave him another 20 bucks. And he got $40 basically worth of gas or something, something like that. And he drove back home. So another two and a half hours or so, um, he drove back home. So that's like four and a half hours of driving to get his license, get his money in case, you know, he's going to need it. Um, and then that same night, he got his wallet, immediately drove all the way back, uh, stopped at the same gas station to pay back the lady who said she didn't, I, I believe she didn't even want the money or uh, somebody else was working and he told her to thank her or something like I don't know. He tr tried to stop by there again. Um, essentially, it was just such a feel good story. Not Not really for David, but like hearing about the person that actually gave him money. Everybody else just kind of ignored him and just seeing it from a different perspective um and they, it was that guy who had he said had like the jankiest like the worst looking car and like looked like he didn't have 20 dollars to give that actually gave him the 20 bucks and everybody else was like just completely ignoring him and like not even acknowledging him and so he got kind of upset <laughs> but anyway that happened uh the lady at the gas station he ended up actually uh seeing her again i don't know if it was that trip or the next one where he actually saw the same girl and thanked her. But it was so crazy because it, it was that Barstow gas station. Um, anyway, that was before this. That's why they were saying David's not going to be there. Um, and then he ended up being there because he did eight hours of driving, essentially. More than that, nine hours. That's the story. <laughs> trying to think of what to do. Action. Yep, that's good. We ended up using all this. Don't worry about your arms now. I mean, the motions are pretty funny. There's only so much you can do with a tiny green screen, guys. If your arms leave the green screen, they have to crop it out. See, that was already wrong. You see the elbow? <laughs> all right, that's good. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it this way now. Yeah. You don't know, realize. <laughs> So, I if I was distracting <laughs> me, I would have at least thought of a little bit more to do. Action. Because you don't realize that you didn't show all of it. Did you see what I just asked him? Did you see what I just asked him? Okay, look, we're doing this for green screen, right? For, like, transitions and stuff. This is Derek's idea of a distraction. He's like, to stall it out. He's like... Alright. Action. He literally had me running this way on a green screen, and he said, "Okay, hey, let's let's turn it around, uh, do it the other way. It's a green screen. Just flip it." Anyway, that's why I was just like, "What is this?" I was already a little sus because I was like, "What is going on right now? Like, just it doesn't make any sense. Why why are we doing this? It's such a waste uh, of time." Let's try, it. let's try it this way now. Look, look, look. Yeah. Well, can you just flip it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Sus, guys. Did you suspect? I did a little bit um, because it was my birthday. Uh, Let's do another one. But or... I didn't know they were going to uh, do what they did. See, I got you walking across the screen. Got you popping But Derek was, Derek was pretty say? sus. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Action. Derek. Derek's so funny, man. When he's... Derek is the funniest when he's just being himself. What the hell? 
What is this? Damn, it's so bright. You it's like we're in this? heaven. Damn, I'm Do you miss this house? Here. This is where my brother lives now. So I still see it every now and then. <laughs> Not recently. <laughs> so. If Dimitri singing it, because no one can sing. Oh, we should have put lyrics. Ah, oh, what? We cut off this. Oh, I remember why we had to cut it out. There's some inappropriate language. It was more inside joke stuff. <laughs> I remember why we had to cut it out. <laughs> this is a great day. What a great day. Food and... See, I said it. He was suspicious. Food and a land party. Taco Bell, McDonald's, and essentially Chipotle. What a great meal, man. Just trash food. And natto sushi. That's a natto cake. I forgot about that. This is all my favorite things. Exactly. Where'd you get this, though? That's your favorite thing. Oh, yeah. You guys are crazy, sneaky, little dickies. That was crazy. Um, you know what's funny? Well, it's not that funny, but well, I'll tell you after this is, this is almost done. Uh, <laughs> just like, huh? <laughs> You know what's funny about that? I actually... I had a lot of things to do that day. Um, so it was actually really bad timing. But it was a fun day regardless. But I had a lot of things I had to do that day. And I wish I had known. Because like I had to reschedule. So it caused me a lot of stress. <laughs> but it was still fun non nonetheless. You know? Still fun. Um, and what a great, great surprise.